Thing. Chief Washington correspondent Peter Cook uh, standing by with a member of the Senate Republican leadership who backs arming the Ukrainians. Peter? That's, that's right. I'm joined by Senator John Barrasso. He's the number four Republican in the U.S. Senate member of the Foreign Relations Committee. Good to see you. Thank you. Uh, first of all, your level of optimism that uh, Secretary Kerry's visit to Ukraine, Angela Merkel, and uh, President Hollande's visit to Moscow, that maybe this could be some sort of breakthrough moment. Well, we always hope that that's the case. Putin's activities, though, have not really been in that direction. When you take a look at how uh, pushing he has been in terms of Ukraine and, and the whole threat to the area. I've traveled to the region several times uh, not too long ago and you know whether you're in Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania they're all very concerned and certainly in Ukraine with the uh, incursions into Donetsk. I want to uh, support uh, the Ukraines in terms of making sure they get uh, the weapons uh, that they need. They've been asking for over a year. The administration has been holding out on that saying it's looking at the issue you're talking about and there's bipartisan support on the Hill. Lethal aid for the Ukrainians wouldn't that risk escalating this confrontation with Russia? Well, I've been asking for it for a year. I was in Ukraine last year, the day that the uh, Russian helicopters landed at the gas plant just north of, of Crimea. And uh, we've been asking from that date. We, there's been huge escalation since that, in spite of the fact that we have done very little uh, to help our friends in Ukraine. Uh, the president offered what, meals ready to eat and didn't even want to give night vision goggles because they thought that would be too provocative. Well, I think we need to do a lot more to help our friends. Do you think it's going to happen? As I said, there's bipartisan support up on Capitol Hill right now. Well, it's been over a year, but there, there is turmoil all around the world as a result of, I believe, this president and this administration's uh, approach where our friends no longer trust us, our enemies don't fear us. Uh, you know, you're seeing it throughout the Middle East. Uh, you're seeing it in North Korea, and we're certainly seeing it uh, with, with Russia and Ukraine. Let me bring it back home domestically. You all have been in control of the Senate now for about a month, uh, again, as a member of the leadership. Have you had somewhat of a reality check, the fact that the president's still there with his veto pen, you're struggling right now with this Department of Homeland Security funding. Has being in control, being in charge of the Senate been harder than you thought? We said we're going to get the Senate back to work, and we've done that. We've had a, a votes on over 45 amendments this past month. We passed uh, three different bills. We'll get to the president for signature. Uh, so that is a big improvement over where we were under Harry Reid's leadership. Uh, there are actually Democrats who've had votes on amendments with their name on them that never had a vote before, as Harry Reid has essentially shut down the process. We want to have bipartisan debate, discussions, and votes. What about the Department of Homeland Security funding? That's the issue on the floor today. Third day in a row, you're going to try and pass something. Democrats standing in the way. They're opposed to the fact that you roll back the president's immigration executive orders in this bill. At the end of the day, are you all going to have to accept a clean DHS funding bill? Well, the deadline isn't for another couple of weeks. The president, I believe, acted illegally uh, with uh, his granting executive amnesties to so many people who are here uh, illegally. The, uh, across the country, people are very offended. And the president himself, 22 times, said he did not have the legal authority to do what he has now done. But are you going to put DHS funding truly at risk to get that point across? There's actually more money in the DHS budget now than there was before. We want to make sure it's spent for things that actually deal with homeland security and not what the president is trying to do what I believe is an illegal way. Squeeze in a final question for you. You've got a big case of the Supreme Court dealing with the president's uh, health care law. Are Republicans prepared to put forward an alternative to the health care law this year? Uh, the pr we will help protect the people that have been harmed by the health care law. We will not help the law. All right, Senator Barrasso, thanks very much. Short on time here. Appreciate you joining us. A Thank busy you. day for you here in Washington. Wyoming Senator John Barrasso, uh, we'll send it back to you, Betty, in New York. All right, Peter, thank you so much. Our Chief Washington Correspondent, Peter Cook.